Welcome. The purpose of this short demonstration is to show how easy it is to add an existing SSIS report to use with the LazyNet when you have the LazyNet connector installed in your Dynamics 365. Please verify that you have the LazyNet connector installed and configured before you start. You can see this by going through your module list on the left. And if you have the LazyNet menu, it's installed. Please verify with your LazyNet reseller or LazyNet dealer that it has been configured correctly. The easiest way to add a new report to use with LazyNet is by actually printing the report from Dynamics. In this example, I will create or use the sales confirmation report with LazyNet. So I will generate a sales confirmation report, print the confirmation to Dynamics screen, click OK, OK. And when the report has been generated and loaded to my screen, I click on set up LazyNet at the, at the top. And the sales confirm report is now added to my report list in my LazyNet module. And all I need to do now is just activate it, click save and the report is ready for use with LazyNet. So if we go back to our sales confirmation from before, and we would like to generate a new sales order confirmation report, and we click on printer setup, you can see now I have the LazyNet destination options available to me. If I select LazyNet screen, click OK and OK, the report is now being generated and passed on to LazyNet for processing. Since I don't have a design template ready for this report at this moment, I will just see my blank design template. So now I need to consult my LazyNet administrator to have him or her create a new LazyNet design to use with this sales confirmation report. Thank you.